Um, well, this is joint work with David Sharpstein at Harvard Business School. And in this research, we're interested in uh, documenting racial disparities in the Paycheck Protection Program and in exploring and quantifying the sources of these potential racial disparities in terms of differences in firm location, uh, characteristics, uh, existing borrowing relationships with bank and non-bank lenders, and potentially in terms of racial bias. Now, a key empirical challenge in uh, answering these questions is lack of data on eligible private firms, including their characteristics and the racial and ethnic identity of their owners. So our proposed solution in this research is to study the take up of PPP loans by Florida restaurants, which we think provide a really great setting for studying these questions because of a unique combination of um, interesting data. And so first, from um, thanks to state level restaurant license data, we have a well-defined population of eligible firms that should have been eligible for PPP. Uh, we can link these data to corporate records to figure out the owner's name, uh, which we can then link to voter registration, which in Florida includes uh, self-identified racial and Hispanic identity. Uh, and we can also link restaurants in our data to Yelp for a wide range of you know, firm level characteristics, such as the number of reviews, uh, the average rating, whether the restaurant has takeout, whether it accepts credit cards, how many people visited the website, uh, et cetera. Okay. Uh, and so uh, this figure then reports the results of our main regression analysis, essentially looking at the probability that a restaurant uh, receives a PPP loan. Okay? And these are adjusted probabilities compared to restaurants owned by uh, white males. So the bars represent the adjusted probabilities. The um, lines here report the 95% confidence intervals. Okay? So if we start with the blue bars, uh, they represent the analysis that doesn't control for any other characteristics except for racial and ethnic identity. And so what we see is that black owned restaurants are 25 percentage points less likely to receive PPP loans compared to uh, restaurants owned by white males. So if a uh, white owned restaurant is, uh, has about 75 percent probability of receiving a PPP loan, a black owned restaurant has only 50 percent probability of receiving a PPP loan. Uh, the red bars adjust for location. And so here in the red bars, we're comparing restaurants that are located within the same zip code. Okay? And so what we see is that part of the disparity is due to where minority owned restaurants are located. Uh, in particular, in the paper, we show that they tend to be located in areas with fewer bank branches per capita, lower income, uh, and firms in those types of zip codes on average, regardless of race, tend to uh, have a lower probability of receiving PPP loans. Okay? So comparing within zip code, black owned restaurants in particular are 20 percentage points less likely to receive PPP loans compared to uh, white owned restaurants. Okay? Uh, the green bars then include our full set of controls from Yelp, uh, including firm age, number of seats, whether the restaurant has existing borrowing relationships with bank and non-bank lenders, uh, number of reviews, average review, et cetera. Uh, and what we see is that um, even when we control for all of these differences, observable differences between minority and white owned restaurants, uh, black owned restaurants are still 10 percentage points less likely to receive PPP loans uh, compared to white owned restaurants. Uh, we see a similar pattern but smaller magnitudes for Hispanic owned restaurants. And for Asian owned restaurants, uh, they're essentially as likely as white owned restaurants to receive PPP loans. Okay. Now we think of our regression specifications that adjust for this wide set of um, wide range of control, firm level controls. Um, so the remaining residual, the 10% uh, differential for black owned restaurants, we think of this as most likely driven by uh, the effects of racial bias. Uh, and this can either work through discrimination in the application process uh, itself, and there are some audit studies uh, that speak to this, 
but it could also be that uh, historical discrimination has discouraged some minority-owned restaurants from applying for PPP uh, in the first place. Now, one piece of evidence for the role of racial bias is the substitution from bank to non-bank uh, lenders. Okay. So at banks, the application process is likely to involve more personal interaction, uh, creating more scope for racial bias to uh, affect the outcome. Okay. And so what we see is that minority-owned restaurants are significantly less likely to receive their loans from banks. Okay. These are the blue bars. So Black-owned restaurants in particular are 16% uh, less likely to receive uh, PPP loan through a bank. Uh, but black and Asian owned restaurants are six and a half and seven and a half percentage points more likely to receive their PPP loans from a non-bank lender, where the application process uh, is likely to be automated, to be online, to uh, less likely to involve personal interaction, and so less scope for racial bias to affect the outcome there. Okay. And for Asian owned restaurants, we see that this, the substitution to non-bank lenders essentially completely offsets their lower probability of getting PPP loans from banks. Uh, but for black owned restaurants, the substitution is not enough. So that as we saw, uh, black owned restaurants are 10 percentage points less likely to uh, receive PPP loans overall. Uh, for Hispanic owned restaurants, there doesn't seem to be any substitution to non-banks so that their overall lower probability of getting PPP loans is driven by the fact that they're less likely to get PPP loans from banks. Now, to more directly get at the role of racial bias, we look in the cross-section of counties in Florida and measure county-level bias as the average of implicit bias among white test takers who take uh, this online test offered by Project Implicit uh, called Race Implicit Association Test. Uh, so for all resp white respondents in a county, we calculate the average response across them. Okay? And the figures here report uh, the results from our analysis, um, where uh, in the left panel, we look at counties with kind of like average uh, level of racial bias. And in the panel on the right, we look at counties with greater racial bias, uh, so specifically counties uh, that are one standard deviation above the mean of this measure of implicit racial bias. Uh, and so what we see is that in these counties with greater racial bias, uh, Black-owned restaurants are 32 percentage points less likely to get uh, PPP loans from banks. Uh, we also see more substitution to non-banks uh, than in a kind of county with average level of racial bias. Uh, now, one concern that one might have about the results and their interpretation is that perhaps despite our efforts to control for observable differences between uh, minority and white owned restaurants, there's still some unobservable differences between them, uh, in particular in terms of awareness of PPP and potentially demand for emergency support. Uh, so as an example, there's a Federal uh, Reserve survey that uh, shows that among Black-owned restaurants that didn't receive PPP, a higher fraction of them report that they were not aware of PPP. Uh, so to try to get at uh, this, we look at the subsample of restaurants that received an idle advance grant. Uh, so these grants were given directly by the Small Business Administration as part of its existing Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program, or EIDL. And so firms that received this EIDL advance grant, grants, they showed clear awareness of and demand for emergency support. Uh, at the same time, the EIDL advance grants were relatively small compared to the size of the forgivable PPP loans. Uh, and so what we, what we see is that the vast majority of restaurants in our data that received an EIDL advance grant uh, also received PPP. Okay. And so we can ask whether within this subsample of restaurants that showed awareness of and demand for emergency support, uh, minority-owned restaurants, whether they were less likely to receive uh, PPP. Okay. And one further advantage of looking at uh, idle advanced recipients uh, 
is that based on the size of the idle advanced grant, we can actually back out the number of employees and we can add that as a control in our regression so that we're comparing restaurants within the same zip code with the same number of employees, same characteristics, uh, and asking whether uh, minority-owned restaurants are less likely to get PPP. Uh, and in fact, we find very similar results to uh, our full sample. So with uh, looking within the zip code and controlling for all of these farm characteristics, Black-owned restaurants are 16 percentage points less likely to get PPP uh, compared to white-owned restaurants. Okay. Uh, one further advantage of actually looking at idle advanced recipients is that we can expand our analysis to all industries and not just be limited to uh, restaurants where we kind of have the full population of eligible farms. Okay. So we can look at all idle advanced recipients in Florida uh, that we can match to corporate records and voter registration to get their uh, racial and ethnic identity. Uh, and again, similar to the analysis on the previous slide, we can ask whether in this sample of firms in showing clear awareness and demand for emergency support, uh, whether uh, minority owned restaurants are less likely to get PPP. Um, and we in fact find that this is the case, looking even within the same industry and the same zip code and controlling for number of employees, sales, firm age, existing borrowing relationships, uh, black and Hispanic owned restaurants are nine and seven percentage points uh, less likely to get PPP loans compared to white owned restaurants. Uh, and in the paper, we also showed that uh, similar to the analysis for restaurants, uh, these results are stronger in counties with greater racial bias. Okay. Uh, so overall, in this research, we document large disparities in the take up of PPP loans. Uh, we showed that black owned restaurants are 25 percentage points less likely to receive PPP loans compared to white owned restaurants. Uh, location and firm characteristics, uh, including borrowing relationships, explain about 60 percent of the overall disparity, uh, with the remaining disparity likely to be due to uh, racial bias. And we showed that the results are unlikely to be due to differences in awareness or demand for emergency support and that they likely apply to a broad range of industries. Uh, and so we hope that the results of our research help inform the design of any future similar emergency support programs. Thank you very much for watching.